Hi guys, it's Rampin FM, and today we continue our Can Be Flash play with a game against Peter Head. We're away from home again. After the sort of disappointing draw with Sterling Albion, we did beat Clyde 2 0. A revenge for that, obviously, the defeat earlier in the season. But everything is kind of going well. I've noticed the tactics, uh, the, the one where we play two up front works a wee bit better. They're a bit more familiar than our usual formation, like the 4 5 1. So I've decided to change it up. I'm really hoping for a positive result after the disappointment from Stalin Albion. We did get that revenge against Clyde though, so that kind of helped morale a wee bit. The team's looking good to be honest, I'm enjoying the save a wee bit more. The team cohesion's up, the manager support's up. We are six points clear at the moment, so it's all looking good. So yeah, hopefully because my audio is a wee bit better I can do more of these with less editing so I'm really hoping uh, to push these episodes out now. Um, in terms of players, Jack Aitchison's not scored in a wee bit, he's, been on a, he's on a goal drought. I mean that's unsurprising because I have been playing him right midfield so hopefully pushing him up front with Zach Rudden, he does get his goals back again because he is our top scorer I think with 16 goals at the moment but yeah I'm starting to enjoy the save a wee bit more it's less frustrating we are doing well I am expecting some decent results going forward I have also added another tactic it's like a 4 2 2 2 basically so uh, 4 at the back Two in the centre and then like two out wide and then two up front. So we'll see, we might switch to that depending on how, how well we get trained in it. So yeah, everything's going well. I did uh, leave the last episode with a sort of Sopranos type head and, and it's one now Cowden Beef. Looks like a brilliant ball forward. Yep. And Zach Rudden's there. Good pace. And he makes it 1-0. I'm not going to get my hopes up too much at the moment. Uh, we're just going to see how this game goes. Yeah, so hopefully these guys are enjoying the save. It is obviously a Scottish Wonder Kid save. So we are looking at uh, how we can sort of progress these lads. I'll probably do one, one or two more episodes. Then we'll do our sort of mid-season review. We are coming into uh, like January now. The only player that sort of the other teams want, St Johnston want Jamie Baronis. We do have St Johnston in the Scottish Cup, so they've probably maybe scouted him and then realised, oh, this guy's got decent potential. Tommy Wright has came out and said, that St Johnston manager has came out and said that he's not looking to sign him, but you never know, especially with games like this. So we're 1-0 at half time. We look like we're completely dominating the game, which is obviously good. So we'll just encourage them. We'll just look at opposition instructions as well. So I've put the graphics up a wee bit. I'm still going to stick with 2D. Uh, the game was sort of crashing a lot. I, I don't know if you guys remember, but certainly in the beginning when I first got the game, especially eh, not so much in beta, but when the game was released, it was crashing a lot. But a lot of the hot fixes seem to have sorted that. So I am going to sort of put up the graphics as well as. Um, maybe start incorporating my, my logos and whatnot as well just to make it look a wee bit better but I will be sticking with the 2D at the moment but other than that yeah the, the save's going well a wee bit better than uh, yeah but it's 2 now and it was was that an own goal It is, it's a terrible, terrible back pass to make it 2-0. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. So things are looking good now. It's free. Completely dominating the game. Uh, sorry about the frame rate here, it seems to be uh, not doing too well. But I think it is Jack Aitchison that got the goal. So yeah, there, there's some 
minor problems with FM still that I've noticed, like sometimes frame rates will be a bit weird, but um, other than that, yeah, it's improving every every re release basically, or every hotfix release rather. So I'll make a couple of subs, and we'll get Scott on, and we'll just make another sub, just our final one, we'll get Wilson on. So we're cruising here. This is kind of what I'm really wanting to expect into this save. Obviously, games like this where we are just dominating. I mean, the players we've got are really improving quite a lot. So we should be getting better and better as a club. My biggest concern is probably going to be the summer, January, obviously, Jamie Baronis. Uh, Jamie Baronis, uh, and he actually missed a couple of games, I think, and he was kind of demanding, like, oh, I need to play more. So I promised him to play games, and he has been playing, I think. I can't remember if he was injured or something like that, but I thought it was a bit weird that he was asking to play more games when he's played in the majority of them. So that could be a factor. I don't think he will leave. Hopefully we can keep a hold of him. But I think the summer is going to be the big test. It is 4-0. It's Mark Hill from the penalty spot. And I think that's the first time I've ever seen a penalty highlight. Usually, it, for whatever reason, it skips them, so maybe that's part of the hotfix. So we're absolutely cruising, it's going to be a good win, and I think Stoll and Albion are playing Montrose, I think I noticed that, we'll have a wee look at that at the moment. So it's 4-1, they maybe have a consolation here, I'm not too worried, I don't think it's going to be a 4-4, I think if it was, uh, I'd probably just quit FM and never upload to YouTube again. <laughs> Especially after that Stirling Albion game, but certainly I think it's just going to be a consolation. Would have been good to have a clean sheet, but you can't have it all. So we'll just uh, concentrate, just make sure we get this finished. No more, more, no more blips. Let's have a wee look at the league actually. Yeah, so six points clear. Still on Albion, what a game that is against Montrose. They're beating Montrose 4 3. I think if they beat us 4 3 in that game, I think I would have just uh, maybe not uploaded in a while. <laughs> but a good solid win. This is exactly what you want. The team are doing well. I'm really happy. So this is going to be a fantastic win. Yep, absolutely nothing but praise for the guys. Amazing win. We're going to obviously praise them. Something I don't really do that often or haven't done in the past, to be honest. So that's for it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll come straight back for our next game against Annan. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.